The wide receiver market continues to explode with Justin Jefferson of the Vikings getting a massive contract, which has him paid as the highest paid non-quarterback in the NFL, actually beating out Nick Bosa, who earned that title last year with his contract extension. So Justin Jefferson signs a four-year $140 million guaranteed, or excuse me, $140 million contract. 110 of that is guaranteed, and he has an $88.7 million signing bonus, or is guaranteed at signing, I should say. So uh, he absolutely just destroyed the wide receiver market. He, getting 88.7 uh, million dollars uh, guaranteed at signing, I think blows out the next wide receiver who was in line with Tyreek Hill, who I believe is around $52 million guaranteed. Um, it's about $36 million, uh difference there, which is absolutely just insane for, uh, and I get it. Justin Jefferson is one of the faces of the NFL right now. Uh, he is a phenomenal wide receiver, but man, it's it's crazy to see this wide receiver market continue to blow up. And again, you typically don't see wide receivers outpace defensive defensive ends like Nick Bosa. So uh, that's crazy that he got more money than Nick Bosa um, because that clearly appeared to be the target based on comparison, uh, comparing the numbers, uh, he didn't get that much more. He's $35 million per year, uh, annually, whereas Nick Bosa was $34 million per year annually. Uh, still a, a big time payday for Justin Jefferson. And you would have to think there is an impact with Brandon Ayuk. Now, what would that impact be necessarily? Does that mean uh, Brandon Ayuk and his team look at the, the deal that they have been uh, kind of dug in on and working towards and say, you know what, maybe we need to modify this and go ask for a little bit more. Um, I'm not sure if, if that's necessarily going to happen, but what I do believe is that whatever Brandon Ayuk has asked for throughout this process has been absolutely justified by the way the market has played out. The market has exploded. So many wide receivers have gotten paid this offseason, whether it's Waddle, Nico Collins, Amon Ross St. Brown, Devonta Smith, uh, Ridley. I mean, there are so many wide receivers who have gotten paid. And of course, Brandon Ayuk is on that list to get paid. Guys like CeeDee Lamb haven't even got paid yet. So it's going to be fascinating to see what CD Lamb's deal comes out to with the the news of uh, Justin Jefferson getting paid because you know I would say CD Lamb and Justin Jefferson are on the same tier in regards to talent. Um, obviously, Justin Jefferson's been a little bit more productive with uh, what he's been able to do. But those two guys are probably going to be in the same tier of pay scale. I don't know if Brandon Ayuk will reach $35 million per year. That seems really high. That obviously, you know, they're all in the same draft class. Justin Jefferson and C.D. Lamb were both drafted ahead of Brandon Ayuk uh, in that, uh, you know, uh, famous wide receiver draft class where you had guys like Jerry Judy and Henry Ruggs and Jalen Rager and like all those guys too, who didn't turn out to be that good. Uh, but with Brandon Ayuk, I think at minimum, whatever he's been asking for has absolutely been justified. Uh, so if, if there's no need for, for Ayuk and his group to go back and ask for more and they just stand stay put with what the original ask was. I mean, we heard rumors that they were asking for, you know, they wanted to get $30 million per year on average. That at least was the goal to obviously kind of edge out Amon Ross St. Brown. I think you can make the justification to do that now um, because waiting will allow you to wait to see how the market plays out. 
And so I, I think that based on how everything has played out, Brandon Ayuk, right now as it currently stands, uh, his and anything that he's asked for up until this point is justified. So again, I don't know if this will then trigger BA and his group to go back and ask for more, but I would say that let's say the four, let's say him and his group are asking for, you know, a uh, uh, white uh, average per year salary of, you know, 30 million uh, over four years. That seems to be somewhat not crazy at this point. I know a lot of people freaked out when that report first came out and they're like, oh no, it's too high, too high. And I, I, I was like, trying to remind people that it's it's not Brandon Ayuk and his group that are just pulling this number out of thin air. This market or this price is being dictated by what the market says. And obviously when you're doing this type of stuff, you have to be able to project out. And they were able to project out that most likely Justin Jefferson was going to get that $35 million per year on average. So that's exactly what he did. Um, I, I still think the sweet spot for Brandon Ayuk on an average uh, annual basis is 28. Uh, but now if it goes to 30, makes sense. So we'll see. Uh, still a lot of, I, I don't know what the timing, if any of the timing changes with any of this. Uh, my only hope is that the deal gets done before the start of training camp. But what do you guys think about Justin Jefferson getting paid? No CD Lamb yet to get paid. And what this means for Brandon Ayuk. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe for more updates.